Hey guys, it's Tiny here, and we're here renovating the little sm tiny container home that my sons Chelsea and Derek live on. We're just going to be adding some things, uh, expanding it. They have 25k to spend, so I'm going to make a little garden area outside the back here. I'm going to be using the get to work fences, and then I'm going to be moving all of their plants. So we're going to keep the um, vertical plants because that's a part of Eco Lifestyle and I want to at least have four of them so we got four of those we're going to move the plants that we already have here um, and the bee box is going downstairs downstairs? yeah technically it's down the ladder so downstairs and I moved the birdhouse um, and then we're going to be adding some plants here so it's going to remain that way um, yeah I'm going to be just moving like the space down here where the room is it's going to have the baby area in it so we're going to have that so we're putting the office area up here since we've moved the garden area downstairs it's complicated um, so here I'm putting the little light I love these light things um, they're just a pain in the butt to place but they do like place lower and I do like that so here I'm arranging like the outdoor area, which is going to stay outdoors. And I'm taking the, um, what do you call those? I forgot what you call them. But I'm taking them down. So that's what we're doing. Um, and down here I'm trying to work out the area between like the baby bed. And we'll be getting them things for, we're going to be adding uh, solar panels to the house. So I'm getting them a stove and an actual refrigerator, one that doesn't require ice because I personally would rather for the stove to not work <laughs> than to have to worry about adding ice to it. It's ridiculous. It's like, it's so ridiculous. I mean, it's a wonderful concept, but I, it's so horrible. I hate putting ice in the refrigerator. I'm adding a bin because I keep forgetting it. I'm giving them better bathroom appliances now, well, bathroom situations. So I'm going to keep it with a tub because, you know, toddlers let's have a tub but I'm gonna get them a better tub and sink and um, a better toilet for their house so we'll be doing that I'm trying to make sure that it looks like they match so I try to go with the same white porcelain and brass looking fixtures And took away that, give them a rug there, and I spent most of this money just making the place look pretty, um, giving them decorations and stuff like that in the area. I didn't change like walling or anything. I don't think that that would be his style. Like Derek wouldn't change the wall, so we're just adding pictures and we're getting decorations here. It's still a good size for a family of three. So I'm adding like the water collecting and the water collecting works uh, it's really interesting so yeah I'm adding the water collecting here you see me adding the solar panels um, this is me thinking uh, they got to get up there to clean these panels so I'm working on putting the ladder but I just take them all downstairs all oh, like I got a bunch of them it's just two so I stick them downstairs and then here I'm trying to work out this room or not I don't think I am trying to work out this room I'm gonna add a door here so I can lock that because I don't like the Sims just being on my lot and I'm gonna get a TV they're gonna have a TV here and we're just gonna fix this little living area up a little more but give them a rug uh, put stuff on the edges and give them pictures and then put rug um, pictures up there and we're going to be doing the same thing for their bedroom their bedroom has to also fit a bassinet and a toddler bed I'm going to try to get the new eco lifestyle toddler bed in here so this is me trying to figure out like where all that stuff is going but then I realize we have a baby coming and uh, baby needs space so here I completely forget that you know this hot the babies are babies for three days and then I'm going to need toddler space so Um, yeah, so I'm about to be putting pictures up. Just trying to make the place pretty. 
Here you're seeing me placing some pictures in the kitchen. I'm deciding on which edges I want there, like which frames. Um, I'm gonna add some plants around. It's most of this renovation was just adding like decor to the build. Decor and clutter usually cost the most, like a good majority of the cost of most builds are in the decorations and the and the um clutter. So if you want like a nicely decorated apartment or a nicely cluttered area or it looks lived in or at home, like clutter costs, it stuff costs. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding all of that to this build. This is where I place the lamps and the plants around. Um, here, you're supposed to be able to get plants closer to the to the edge of the foundation without it going up, but I don't think it works for the um, plants in build and buy mode, not in build mode. Uh, because I was able to do that with plants from build mode, but um, yeah, in buy mode, I wasn't able to do that too much, but it's cool. So here I'm just moving some things out of the way because I'm going to add uh, a couple of things to the back. I am getting them a better table up here, and I'm getting them some chairs for down there uh, at the uh, chest table, giving them some room between the chest table and the trash can small edits and here I give them like a rooftop lounge area it's not super safe but it's a little escape for when you want to like, get away from the kids so um, toddlers can't come up here like they can't climb so everything that the toddler needs is definitely gonna have to be on the first floor so upstairs will definitely be like a getaway from for the parents. You're probably seeing me use it like that a lot. Like I just gotta get away from them. Um, so here I'm making an area because now I just remembered I have to feed this baby and I have to potty train it. So like I'm trying to put all the things that it's going to need here. So this is me removing that and realizing I kind of need this space over here. At the same time, parents has got to be able to move, so this is me trying to figure that out, you know, wish me luck, and here I'm going to give them a little sandbox area to play in, and I'm putting lighting, so these lights are off the grid lights, so they work off the grid, and I put a little flower there, which just gives them a little decor around the area, and, you know, I think these are eco, yeah, these are, um, eco lifestyle curtains i love these curtains they're like um these city living curtains but smaller and then they shrink way better like they shrink way better to the size of these little windows here so i'm i dig them i dig them so much so we're heading into the screenshots i really hope you enjoyed this leave your comments and suggestions below